everyone that shuffled them and they found out. Right. Have to In a blanket. Um, let's just start off with our karakia. <clears throat> Me noi tātou. Te taua mai i runga, te taua mai i raro, te taua mai i roto, te taua mai i waho. Kia tau ai te mauri tū, te mauri ora ki te katoa. Hau mi e, hui e, tāra i e. Um, kia ora, so the purpose of our live today is to introduce who we are. We are three of six kaiapena based here in the Hamilton Waikato region. Uh, today we would like to talk about dental care, uh, how to get a kaiapena and well-being. Um, also, we have two spot prizes to give out to two of our lucky viewers today. Uh, but first off, we'll start off with Whakafanaingatanga and just introducing who we are. So, ko ai tēnei, uh, ko Ngāti Awa Te Toki, Te Tangata Ngai Te Rā, Te Ngohi Ngohi Te Wai. Tu ana tōku mā ngā pūtau waki ki kawerau, redi ana tōku awa rangi taiki mai o mataroa ki o kōrero. Uh, ko ruai hona te marae, ko ngā tamo ki te hapu, mā tātua te waka. Kia ora koutou katoa, ko Eva Stein tōku ingoa, uh, nō te te kouahau. So, born and raised in the Eastern Bay of Plenty, small town te teko, uh, we like to call it te kito te ao, or the centre of the universe. Um, I am a kaiafina based here in Kirikiriroa, Hamilton. Um, yeah, that's me, so I'm going to hand you over to Kelly. Uh, kia ora, Eva. Uh, ko ai au, ko manga kawa te manga, ko waikato te awa, ko tāne te waka, ko wiriwiri te hapu, ko rukumana te marae, ko nati haua te iwi, ko Kelly Cunningham tōku ingoa. Kia ora, I am Kelly and I was born and raised in Upper Wellington and I currently live here in Hamilton. Uh, I am a kaiapuna for Whanaapuna Plunkett and I take care of the North Waikato region uh, from Narua here to Te Kaifata. Uh, today I'll be talking to you about some questions that we've had uh, come through and um, I am so honoured to be here to talk to you and share with you. Um, and I'll hand you over to Megan. Kia ora, Megan. Oh, kia ora, Kels. Um, ko rangi te mai te maunga, ko rua mahanga te awa, ko kora haupo te waka, ko rangi tāne te iwi, ko ngāti hāmoa te hapu, ko te uluri te marae, ko Megan Piyama tōku ingoa. Um, kia ora, everyone. I'm Megan. I'm a kaiapina based here in uh, Hamilton. Uh, I work both within the Kirikiriro space and then down in the South Waikato as well. And today, it's my pleasure to be here to have a kōrero with you about oranga niho or oral health for our pipi and tamariki. So let's get into it. So I guess first things first, um, teeth can come through at varying times. Generally, it's between the 6 and the 10 months of age. Uh, however, some may come earlier and some may come later up to about a year, one year of age. Uh, strangely enough, uh, we can see our babies coming, being born with teeth, and these are called natal teeth. Uh, they come through and they're, they're born with them. They need to be checked out just to make sure that they're not loose and um, they're not sort of swallowed when they are feeding. Oh, yes, uh, teething can cause some pain and unsettling times for our babies and for our whanau. Uh, they can cause a dribble rash and 
the teething occurs when the teeth push through the gums. Um, you might notice in a baby's mouth that it can be red, swollen, uh, might be shiny and tight. Uh, babies can be grizzly. Uh, they may have low grade fevers or they may have a loss of appetite. Uh, however, that should not make your babies really unwell. Um, so if your baby does become really unwell, then the advice is to either call Plunkett Line uh, and talk to one of our nurses, or you can go to your GP and have a cordial with them. Uh, so I guess some ideas about what you can do for looking after our babies when they are teething. Uh, quite often things that are cold are soothing. So for my babies, I use my Ponamu. So my Ponamu has gone through all my children and when they were teething, I would put it in the fridge, get it nice, get it cold, not too cold. You don't want to put it in the freezer, but in the fridge and they would just sort of bite down on it. This helped soothe the gums, it sort of gave them a little bit of relief and some time where I felt that they weren't unsettled and um, we could go on with our day. Uh, some other things you can do, you can put a, a damp cloth in the, or you know, wet a cloth, put it in the fridge, same scenario, something that's nice and cool. Uh, when our babies are a little bit older, you could put a piece of banana into the freezer, um, you freeze it, and with a piece of muslin around the outside, you can let them chew on it. Another option. Uh, they will, You will see things in the shops that a, what are they called? Teething rings, eh? Yeah. Teething yeah. rings, that's it. Yeah. So teething rings, those things that can be put in the fridge or put in the freezer, and the same thing happens. Um, so I guess on to the next thing, hearing for our teeth, when do we do that? When do we do that with our babies? Mm. So like I said, our, their teeth come through around about the six months of age. You want to be caring for them as soon as they come through the gums. Once they're exposed to the outside and the elements in the, in the mouth, um, decay can happen. So by caring for those, what I mean is that you uh, need to be brushing. And brushing might be using a cloth just to wipe down after they've had a clay or had a drink. Um, and especially at night time. Night times when all the bugs in our mouths that have you know come through in the day with the kai that we eat and the drinks that we drink they mm. if we don't brush them away and get rid of them they have a party in our mouth and they can mm. cause bacteria and acid that eats away at our teeth um, so if they leave there overnight you can um understand what might happen to our baby's teeth means i've got a part twice. so oh. when should we start brushing babies or like is it as soon as they start teething or once the needles come out? So once the needles come through is the best idea. So I can show you what I mean by that. So what I mean when I talk about brushing, um, brushing is like this. So what, what we want to do is we need to have the right toothbrush. So that would be a soft bristle toothbrush. Everybody should be using a soft bristle toothbrush. Uh, if we use anything else, it is too hard and you can... Um, brush away the enamel which is our protector on our teeth so we also need to be using toothpaste the toothpaste can be our advice is for adult shrink toothpaste with a thousand parts per million as the minimum amount of fluoride in it we use a smear of this toothpaste we're going to open the if your baby's only got one or two teeth you're just dipping these bristles in there that's all you're doing just getting a tiny amount on there because that's all they need all right, just the teeth here. They're going to have these bottom teeth come through first. You're going to be putting a little bit of water on there and circular motion. Okay. Remembering to brush these gums or give them a bit of a tipple with the toothbrush, uh, just because it you know produces the blood, the blood circulating and helps strengthen the gums. The other option is to use one of those. These are called a finger brush. You just pop it on your finger, quite good for massaging baby's gums, especially when they're teething, so they don't have to have their teeth come through yet, but really good for that. And you can just do the same, same thing. Okay, here's a couple of options. Okay, so uh, those are the things I want you to do when you're looking after our baby's teeth. Rinsing, they don't need to have any water in their mouths. It's the same with our tamariki. Uh, it is all about brushing, swishing the toothpaste around within the mouth, and then spitting it out in the sink, not rinsing with water. Okay. Cool. Where can our whānau get those or find those? So these toothbrushes, so this is, these toothbrushes you can buy from the supermarket. 
the other finger brushes you can buy them in the baby factory stores places like that that they're available okay so Max, do i have to buy that particular toothpaste or can i just buy any toothpaste Carl, so my advice is to use the same toothpaste you're using for everyone in your whanau if you've got five or six members in your whanau you don't want to be going and buying mm. a whole lot of different toothpaste just for that purpose however sometimes the minty flavor in the toothpaste can be quite um harsh for our babies and so sometimes th something like the one that i've just shown you it's a bubble mint flavor or it's not so strong so it can be quite easy for them to sort of take on Remembering that if it's their first tooth, they've only ever had maybe milk and some kai. They haven't had any of these other flavours, so it's something different. That's the same with the brush, something different. So they might push it out, spit it out with their tongue initially, but that's purely because it's something new. Oh, yeah. oh, I have another papai. So when do I go to the dentist for my babies? So well, uh, in New Zealand, we um, like to see our babies within the sort of the first year of their life so that that first initial check can be done. Within Waikato DHB, it, the free dental checks start from about age nine months. Wow. However, that's, you know, it is an individual thing. Once again, if your baby's got no knee hole at nine months old, they don't need to be going to the dentist. Eh? Yeah, awesome. How the enrolment can happen from birth, so that you're in there, you can ask mm -hmm. your uh, whanau whena plunket nurse or your whanau whena kaia whena to um, complete that enrolment for you, or it can be completed online. Um, wherever you are in the country, just pop into Google uh, Dental Services and it will bring up a list of um, where you can go within your DHBs. Okay, thanks. Cool. And so today, one of our gift packs we have are. Uh, um, has all of that stuff in it, so dental care for your peepee. Aye, oh, and like Eva said, to to get one of those gift packs or receive that, ask us some pathai in the chat, and um, somebody will be chosen after the after the chat. Uh, the other thing I just wanted to touch on, uh, and that's around kai and drink. So that is the main cause of our babies getting decayed. So if you think about the mouth as a window to our tīnana, so what goes in there doesn't just affect the teeth, but it affects the teeth first. It also affects everything else. So things that are high in sugar, uh, sugar plus the um, bacteria in our mouth creates an acid. The acid eats away at the teeth. So we want to be keeping thinking about our, our babies when they start eating kai. Vegetables, best first thing. You know, um, fruits, if we keep fruits as a natural state, they're really good. If we change that natural state and we start adding things to them, um, for example, pureeing them but adding sugars, then that creates a higher sugar. We want to stay away from our, our preschoolers. We want to stay away from dried fruits. They're sticky. Mm. They stick in their teeth. And if we're not brushing or unable to brush really, really well, uh, that stays there and can create holes. Okay. Uh, when it comes to drink, either milk, milk or water those are the only two things uh, that don't affect the teeth the way that other things like fizzy juice those sorts of things even though juice you see it as fruit it's changed it's from its natural state so mm. therefore it causes some havoc with our baby's teeth mm. yeah. yeah yeah so yeah that's all i've got for today if you've got any part i please put them into the chat uh, if you've got any concerns, any any worries at all, you can either ring your local DHB, their community dental health service, or you can ring Plunkett Line on 0800 933 922 and talk to one of our nurses 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All right. So now I'm going to pass it over to Cal to have a call it all. Kia <laughs> So often we get asked um, questions of how do how do I get a kai up in a so in the Waikato region, we currently have six kaiafina, and there are many kaiafina around Aotearoa, New Zealand. So we each look after an area. So if you live in Narawahia or Huntley or Te Kaipata, you get me. Um, so which area do you look after, Max? 
So I'm lucky enough to be split into a couple of places as well. So three days a week, I'm here in the Waikato, uh, Hamilton City based. And then two days a week, I am down in South Waikato. So Tupuru, Putararu, Tiro, Mangakino. Yeah. Nice. Big yeah. area. That is. That's exactly. lovely. <laughs> what about you, Eva? Um, so I have, I work with three Māori nurses. So if either one of them are your nurses, I'm likely to be your kaiafina. Um, and we're based here in Kirikiriro in Hamilton. So, yeah. Awesome. Thanks. So, Kaiafina uh, Māori health workers uh, for Fano Māori mm -hmm. uh, across Aotearoa. We also have Karatani who look after you as well. Um, they can help out with exactly what we do as well. Um, we come from a Māori perspective though, and so Kaiafina are here to help navigate you through services if you need. Uh, for example, if you uh, need to go to a doctor's appointment, we can transport you, uh, we can access food parcels for you and clothing, um, we can introduce solids and talk about signs um, that your baby is ready for kai. Mm. Uh, we can also support you with breastfeeding, um, sleep, sleeping and settling techniques and water safety, even um, safe sleep and so anything that you need, we're, we're here to help you. Another question we get asked is, um, how do you get one of us? You've got to be really lucky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you kind of have to be lucky. <laughs> so um, there's there's a few ways that you can get one of us. So you can either ask your Plunkett nurse um, if you uh, if you want one of us, you can ask her to refer you to a kaiafina in within your area. Um, you can ring Plunkett Line. So Plunkett Line um, is 0800 933 uh, You can also talk to them as well about getting kaiafina. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Do we have kaiafina in all the areas that like that we that we cover? Like I know that we've got Hamilton, Naruhia. What about is the kaiafina in like we also go to Tiama to other places like that. So there are lots of kaiafina around the across the country. So there's some down the South, South Island. Um, there there's many in Auckland. There's six of us here. Um, so yeah, there's lots of us around here. Now, what would you say is your favourite or your most enjoy part, enjoyable part of being a kaiafina and working at Fanoa Fina Plunkett doing the you know doing the role that you do? Oh, so my favourite part is actually being with um, the whanau within their homes. Um, that brings me so much joy to, to be able to help um, to be on the journey with you as mama or papa. Um, yeah, so I, I really enjoy being a kaiafina. Um, so another question is like, what does or does my kaiafina do home visits? Mm -hmm. So because our the world is changing yeah. with COVID. Yeah. Um, so we've had to change things to to suit you and your whānau. So if you want us to come visit you in your home, we will come visit you in your home. If you prefer us to call you, we will, you know, we will make a time to call you. Um, if we, oh, if you want to come see us, um, you, we can arrange a time for you to come and see us in clinic. Yeah. Um, what else is there? Oh, also we have Zoom, so we can we can um, do a virtual a virtual part of the um, we can ring you via Zoom. Yeah, yeah. So do virtual, yes, virtual yeah. as well as yeah, non-contact or contact. So we're at level two now here in Hamilton, mm -hmm. and um, so we're quite happy to yeah. If you're comfortable with home visits, then we will come in home visit. Okay, I've got a part right here for you. So, uh, how can I encourage my three-year-old to use the toilet? What are some tips and tricks that we could we could offer Fano? Um, so, with toilet training, we could we could we have to build a relationship with the toilet for our tamariki. Mm -hmm. So, you know, being in the toilet can be quite scary because it's got that hole. 
that they think that they're going to fall, fall into in. it. Yeah. So just building that really good relationship with them, um, or with the toilet and your tamariki. Mm. I know that sounds a bit odd, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it works. Um, because they're not afraid to sit on it. They're not afraid that they're going to fall in. Um, yeah, that's a great question. What are you... Quite different between boys and girls, eh? So yes. I know, for example, I had, I've had two girls they were easy as I found them easier. They just yeah. did it. They went to the toilet paper to fly. My son, however, was very different. So I guess it was having little tips and tricks. Uh, we had a sticker chart, yeah. things like that. So kapoi, you went to the fire pocket. Awesome. You know, um, yes, you washed your hands afterwards. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and I guess mimicking, so what we can do that's the same with dental, eh? you, if you're doing, you're doing what you want them to do, you're showing them and role modelling to them what you need to happen, that's, um, that's what they're going to see and that's what they'll do. Yeah. yeah, and always praising them, yeah. praise them when they go to the toilet. Yeah. Um, yeah, praise them every time they go to the toilet, ones and twos, twos are the big thing for babies, yeah. they, they tend to not like to do them in the toilet so praising them every time they go to the toilet is a great thing as well so oh thank you for that thanks Mix. yeah so we're we're here to help you with whatever you need so um we're here to adjust to suit you and your whanau's needs oh, yeah. do i do we are there certain time frames you know that sort of thing for whanau like can you only visit at 10 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the afternoon? What's the... So I think for myself, I would... So I work only four days a week from uh, 8.30 to 4.30. So <laughs> so in between that, but um, you're all, we're always here to um, up you. So if you want to, you know, contact somebody outside of those hours. Um, Plunkett Line is a 24 hour, seven day a week service. Um, and that number is 0800 933 922. Oh, kia ora, kia ora. Kia ora, So I'm going to be covering the well being. Um, and I'll be honest, I had all of this stuff written out and I was actually looking at what I do for my own well-being, which is very different to what everybody else probably does. So I changed my corridor up and I thought um, to find something that's a bit more relatable. We have this puka puka here present, um, my health book, which you will receive from your midwife. And in it, um, on page 173, it talks about looking after yourself. Um, the importance of sleep, for every mama, um, you know, to, and to try and sleep when baby's sleeping, to get to be well rested. Um, it's amazing if you've got all of the support around you during the time when you have bubba and stuff, because that way you're able to to rest. But, you know, sometimes it's, it's different for everybody. So trying to get as much rest and sleep as you can, if possible, is really good for both you and Pepe. Um, eating well is another thing, um, making sure that you have the right nutrients that you need, especially if breastfeeding. Um, I only just found this out yesterday from one of our other kayakina that a mama who's breastfeeding needs an extra 500 calories, um, you know, she is feeding two or sometimes they have twins. Oh, All right, so yeah. you'd have to take in a lot of good, a good take of veggies fruit and drinking heaps of water as well to help with all of that. Um, so yeah, I think. When we're talking about wellbeing, Eva, what are you like, are we talking about, what are we talking about doing? Is it about going outside? Is it, you know, what, what kind of things can we do to yeah. you know, help with our wellbeing? That's a lot of things and it's different mm -hmm. for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, getting out into the tire or out into the environment mm -hmm. is good. It's good to get some fresh air, especially, you know, after being in lockdown, everybody yeah. can wait to get out just yeah. to get some fresh air. Um, not everybody's into hiking or walking. So just going out to have a kai, eh, whatever that may look like for you, um, as long as you're getting out and having some fresh air and, Getting some sun when Tamanui Tara comes out is always a good idea as well. Um, 
taking your baby and you know your bano out to the park or something um another big thing is asking for help and accepting help mm. you know you need to look after your your full well-being um so sleeping eating you know getting out into um out the there out into the wilderness <laughs> where yeah. the water is those yeah. sorts of things yeah, yeah. yeah. socializing and all of that um but I'd like to ask you guys, like, because self-care and making time for yourself, not every mum does it. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to know from you guys, what are things that you guys both done um, to make time for yourself when you're both tamariki with PP? So um, I have been a mum for 21 years. Um, my eldest child is 21 and my youngest is five and I had five tamariki. So for me, um, time um, was... For me, my my time was at night. So when my babies were asleep, um, that was the time that I would um, take for myself. You had your me time. Yeah, yeah, that was my me time. I did lots of mm -hmm. things at night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That you mean? Yeah. For me, it's a morning time. So I'm not a night person. I'm a, a, I go to bed early, and I get up early. So my oldest is twenty. She is. Um, Currently happy with our first mokopuna and I'm super excited. Um, <laughs> and then I have a 17 year old and an eight year old boy. So my time is to get up early. I get up before anyone else gets up. I have that time that I can, um, I listen to podcasts or I meditate and then I exercise. So that's my thing. It's been really helpful over the COVID time too, to be able to do some of those yeah. sorts of things because being enclosed in your own space for such a long period of time can be really difficult. So, yeah. No, that's awesome, Max. I think the important thing is to remember that you are important. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, every mama is important and a healthy mama is a healthy mm -hmm. pepe, a healthy whanau. Right, um, right. Before I hand it over to Max to do our karakia whakamutunga, I just want to leave with the whakatauke um, that I that I found yesterday. Mm. So, ko te whaia, te tākere o te waka. O mothers are like the hull of a canoe. They are the heart of their whanau. So, kia ora. Well, kia ora, thank you for that, Eva. Thanks, cows. It's been amazing today. Thank you for joining us. And I'm just going to close with a karakia, okay? So, nē nō tātou. Kia tau, kia tātou katoa. Te atua o tō tātou re, kia ihu kraiti. Ki te aroha o te atua, i te whiwhinga tahitanga, ki te wairua tapu. Ake, ake, ake. Amine. Amine. Ka kite. Oh, we will let you guys know who won um, in the in the chats. Ka bye. Blanket line 0800 933 Anytime, 24-7. Kaitora. <laughs>